Christmas event. I've never gone to a Christmas event, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm just gonna be getting ready for it. So yeah, let's, let's just get started with it. I am starting out by using the Rose Water Mist by Heritage Store. I apologize for my weird facial expression, but I call this the Amber Heard expression. I am now using some ice for my face. I really love using it because I feel like it gives me that glow. Usually I would only do this in the summer, but it's been hot here in Texas. The ice was so cold, but it really did feel good at the same time. I also just pat dried my face. Next, I'm using the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I honestly just had a simple skincare routine for that day. Next, I'm applying some Neogen eye cream. I hope I pronounced that right, but I got this one from YesStyle. I am now applying some Vaseline Lip Therapy. Now that I am done with my skincare, time to move on to my hair. I am actually just going to curl my hair for the day. Now that that's done, time to work on my makeup. I am going in with the Touch and Soul Sherbet Primer. I basically always use this one, including the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. These are definitely my go-to. I don't know why I am applying my makeup this way. It looks like I'm being really rough with my face, but I don't think I was. So um, don't judge me. And of course, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is my go-to foundation, as you can see in every video. And I'm also using the Rare Beauty Loose Powder. Next, it's the House Labs Translucent Powder. This is just to hold my makeup up because my face tends to get oily. And now, onto the eyebrows. I am actually using a product from Benefit. I actually received this product from an order that I purchased, so it was basically a sample. I am now using the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Duo in the shade Golden Peach. I've actually done a video on this product, which I will put somewhere above on the screen. It's definitely the most expensive product that I own. Thankfully, I received it for free from Influencer. This eyeshadow duo is actually $65, which is pretty steep for my wallet. I am now using this shade of brown from the e.l.f. Nude Mood Palette and applying it onto the corner of my eyelid. Next, I'm going back into the Tom Ford eyeshadow duo and applying the shimmer shade onto my eyelid. I am now using the same dark brown shade from the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and applying it onto the lower lash line. I am now using my favorite palette which is the Glitterpedia palette and applying the shade onto the tear duct of my eyelid as well as halfway on the lower lash line. I completely forgot what blush I used, it was either from Colourpop or the MAC Stranger Things one, I'm not too sure. And to finish off this look, I just applied a lip tint with some lip gloss. As for my outfit, I decided to use this really cute dress. I got it off of Yifu. You're more than welcome to use my discount code, which is tiers of 10 to save you money off of your purchase. I also added some cute black boots. I probably should have moved the toilet paper out of the video, but you know, there it is. Besides that, the whole outfit was everything. All right, so we're finally on the way to the Christmas event. I'm really excited. My boyfriend isn't. <laughs> He's just like, it's just lights, <laughs> mm -hmm. so pretty much, but I'm really excited, so I can't wait to go. We're running a little bit late, so sorry, I was like in a hurry to finish off my makeup. I didn't get to record like everything else. I had to just get ready because it's already 5.30. It starts at 5.30, so anyways, I will record more once we get there. Okay, so the traffic was really bad and it was scary. We probably should have left earlier, but it is what it is. I still got to enjoy the beautiful sunset and looking at the birds flying around looks so nice to me. Also, I promise you that dark spot isn't a UFO. Someone on my TikTok was like, is that a UFO? Chokingly, it's just the window. When we showed up to the event, it was very hilarious because my boyfriend was like, oh, so it is more than just lights. And he actually ended up enjoying the Christmas event. We were just so happy being there. It was so fun. And I also saw this cool, beautiful, bright, colorful castle. Even though Santa looks like he's about to eat you and it looks creepy, I still loved it. I thought it was really pretty. And that's me walking towards it. it looked like I almost fell, but um, yeah, I really didn't know what to do. I was really shy. I'm not used to filming in public. Out of the whole entire event, 
this area was my top favorite. I love the lights surrounding the water, especially the lights inside the water. Everything here just felt so peaceful and I just loved it. It kind of felt like a fantasy in a way or a Hallmark movie. I don't know how to explain it, but it was just so fun and I loved it. They really did such an amazing job with this event. They went all out. Like, look at those lights all over the trees. Everything was just so perfect and great. The weather was even nice that day. I was really surprised because usually it's hot, but I love the weather. It was just a perfect night. I actually don't really go out a lot. I'm kind of a hermit and doing this was just a fun experience. I'm glad I went. My boyfriend said something really funny here, which is also why I moved a little weird. Um, he was actually pretending to be like a crocodile hunter, but it was like a joke. But I had to mute it because I didn't want to get copyrighted because of the Christmas music in the background. I was literally so shy and you can easily see that I'm not used to filming out in public like this. And I kept trying to tell myself that, hey, like, don't worry, they're just strangers. At the end of the day, you're never going to see these people again, but I was still shy. I was just so fascinated by how they did the trees. And for some reason, I was just trying to look under it like, what's in there? You know, like, I don't know. I was just very curious. If you all have seen Tangled, which I'm pretty sure most of you all have, but Rapunzel just relates to me so much because I'm a very curious person and basically growing up, I never actually had experiences. I was always in the house, but um, now that I'm an adult, I can finally go out and explore. So the world is basically new to me in a sense. So I just get really fascinated by little things, even if it's lights like this. I know that sounds really silly, but I mean, if you're Latina, you know how it is living in a strict household. So when you grow up and you finally get to go out, the world is like crazy and you just have fun exploring, you know, everything's just so exciting. Anyways, they overall had a lot of lights. They even had space themed lights. They had some of the planets on the side as well with some information too, which I thought was really interesting. I also really loved this. I thought the penguins were so cute. I wanted to take a photo and also record myself in that area, but people kept going onto that side and every time one would leave, someone would go in. So I was like, oh well. I'm just gonna move on. It's the end of the year. Everywhere on TV, couples and Christmas trees, gift wrapping and cheer. Just the worst time to be with someone special. was my second favorite thing of this event. I love that they had a petting zoo. I really wish I could have gone in, but my boyfriend had a drink during the time and you can't bring in like any beverages or outside food when you go into the petting zoo. So I didn't go inside. I wanted him to go with me so bad. I know I could have gone by myself, but I don't know. I just felt more comfortable going with him. But regardless, I still enjoyed watching them from the outside of the gate and I thought they were really cute. I am such a huge animal lover. I love animals so much. Believe it or not, I actually want a goat. 
and also a cow. I just love cows. I think they're just really cute, especially baby cows. Cute. While I was distracted petting all the animals, my boyfriend and the stranger were laughing because apparently they saw a child who was scared. He basically was crying because he had a coat, I guess, that was similar to the goats. So I guess the goats assumed maybe he looked like them. So they all surrounded the poor child as if the goats were saying, One of us! One of us! So he got so scared. And the stranger was like, poor child, he's probably going to need some therapy after this because when he's older, he's going to be so traumatized and scared of goats. Anyways, after the petting zoo, we decided to head back to the water area and we basically sat down to rest for a bit because my feet were killing me. Then after that, we decided to go inside the building because they actually had more stuff. They had a lot of parade floats and I thought they were just so creative. also found another area where they had a little bit of stuff that yielded space and NASA in general and I thought it was very fascinating. After this experience, it actually made me realize that I really do want to create more memories and I would actually like to explore other certain events that I've never done because I feel like I do need to go out more instead of staying in. I feel like I definitely want to try out more new things. As we were leaving, I was just so fascinated by this huge tree. It actually was going with the beat of the music, but I can't play because I'll get copyrighted. Hey guys, so we already left. I'm really tired. My face is so oily right now. I mean, you can't tell in here, but it's really oily. I'm just super exhausted. My feet hurt um, like really bad from wearing boots. I should have wore tennis shoes, but there was no other shoes that I had that matched this dress and it was just too pretty so yeah I just wore boots but my feet are killing me so I think I'm gonna, we're gonna go get food I'm gonna go pick up food and then just go back to the apartment so I will see you all there back at the apartment in a bit all right so I am finally home and now I'm gonna eat thankfully we got golden shit yummy all right everyone so i already ate i'm really full and i think i'm just gonna go ahead and shower and then just rest for like the rest of the night so pretty much that's really all i'm gonna do so yeah but i will see you all in a bit um after i do my skincare hey everyone so i just finished showering and i also finished my skincare so I'm basically just gonna rest for the rest of the night. I didn't want to film my whole skincare routine because I'm really tired and my feet hurt. But anyways, I had a really fun time with this Christmas event. I've never done any Christmas events in my whole entire life. So it was definitely very fun and enjoyable. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog as well. Um, but yeah, pretty much that's basically everything for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and press that bell notification to be notified for my next upcoming videos. Thank you all so much and see you all next time.